Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be covering a surprising topic, which is my recommendation to not use localhost. Now, specifically, I mean localhost the word, not localhost the concept. And I'm going to show you why today. Anyway, let's jump into it. Uh, for this, we're actually going to be using my Windows command prompt because I have actually configured my Linux machine to avoid this problem. Uh, and what we're going to be looking at today is what the name localhost means. Uh, and in order to do that, we're going to be using the socket module and we're going to be using socket.getAdderInfo, which looks up a particular name and gives you information about it. Uh, oh, get adder info. It would be great if I could spell. Uh, oh my, this is, oh, I <laughs> mean, two typos. There we go. Okay, so what this did is it looked up the name localhost and it gave us back the response. In this case, we got two different responses. One being an IPv6 response, which is at address colon colon one. We also got an IPv4 response at 127.0.0.1. And this presents the first problem, which is that localhost can refer to two different IP families. It can either be a v4 address or it can be a v6 address. Now, most of the time, most programs will handle this gracefully. They'll you know, try the v4 address and fail, and then try, or sorry, try the v6 address and then fail, and then try the v4 address, or the other way around, depending on whether you're listening on v6 localhost or v4 localhost. Uh, but some programs don't handle this nicely. Uh, for instance, we had a recent bug at work where, for some reason, the developer's MacBook refused to try the v4 address. It was only trying the v6 address, and so it had all sorts of different problems. Uh, the other thing that you might notice from my description here is by trying the v6 address first and then failing, you're necessarily going to waste some time. You're also going to waste some time by looking up this, uh, you know, this name. It usually doesn't make it to a DNS server, usually it's just an Etsy host lookup, but you're still taking a syscall to do that lookup there. And I've actually made this refactor at two companies now. Uh, at Yelp, or sorry, at Lyft, this made a very significant difference by switching from the name localhost to instead the hard-coded IP address for localhost, and here in this case, 127.0.0.1. Uh, this made, if I remember correctly, almost a, I wanna say it was a 2% improvement in latency across every service at Lyft. Uh, basically, I changed localhost in the core HTTP client to 127.0.0.1, and then it avoided both that lookup and the attempt to do a v6 connection. So, saved a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of improvements from essentially a one-line change. Uh, but yeah, my recommendation is to use the IP address. Here's actually a change set where I did exactly the same thing at my current company at Sentry. This was to fix uh, <laughs> this was to fix that developer's machine, which refused to try v4 for whatever reason. Um, but a, a quick change from localhost to the hard-coded IP address uh, avoided all those problems. But anyway, hopefully you can learn from my learnings here as well and uh, stop using localhost as a name. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.